This is your introduction to the CPT-45C cockpit, specifically a review of the pre-start, engine start, and after engine start checklist. The CPT-45C is a single engine carrier capable combat pilot jet used by selected strike pilots and all carrier strike pilots for advanced flight training. The CPT-45C has a pair of battery switches. Move both to the on position to put internal power on the aircraft. Note that the landing gear indicator lights, the warning caution advisory panel, both multi-display units, and master caution lights are now illuminated. Now that we have power, check the jet's fuel quantity. The fuel gauge now shows total fuel of 3,000 pounds. Now make sure that the hydraulic pressure indicator shows zero pressure and set the parking brake. The last item on the pre-start checklist is to ensure that the generator switch is in the off position. You are now ready for the engine start checklist. Move the anti-skid switch to on and ensure that the green advisory light is illuminated. Now turn the collision strobe light to the both position, set the throttle to idle, and check to make sure that the area around your jet is clear. Set the engine switch to the start position and push the gas turbine starter or GTS button. Check that the GTS light is on and monitor the engine instruments during engine startup. Once the engine is started, move on to the after engine start checklist. First, turn on the generator and check that the generator caution light is out. Now, turn on the head up display or HUD and adjust the up front control panel or UFCP and internal lighting as desired. Moving now to the VOR panel, set the frequency as desired. In this case, we will set the VOR to the Pensacola frequency of 117.20 by first adjusting the hundreds on the left and then the decimal number. Make a note that this action may be accomplished by placing the cursor over the knob and moving the mouse wheel. Move now and turn the onboard oxygen generating system or OBOGS flow knob and OBOGS anti-G to the on position. Finally, adjust the barometric pressure setting to ensure the proper barometric altitude reading. Get into the habit of listening to ATIS, available on the ATC panel, for the proper setting. Cross-check the airport elevation using the airport diagram available on the electronic kneeboard to confirm all input data and settings are correct. You are now ready for the taxi checklist. This has been a Combat Pilot instructional video.